Hi there. In this topic video, we're going to take a quick look at the key profitability ratios. Now, profitability ratios are just one of a series of ratios that help you assess the performance of a business. These look at the returns earned by a business, both from its trading activities, from the sales revenue it generates, but also from how much is invested in the business in terms of capital employed. And the reason why profitability ratios are so important is that profit, of course, is perhaps the main, certainly the most uh, interesting reward or return for businesses and entrepreneurs taking risks and investing in their business. And profit is really important. Not only is it a return on investment, but it's also a very important source of finance in terms of retained profits in the business. It's a, a popular common measure of how successful a business is. And of course, profit is also linked with motivating factors such as bonuses and other incentives where performance is linked to profit, the profit earned by the business. So let's just quickly remind ourselves how we calculate profit. Well, in terms of the total profit for the business, it's a, it's a really simple calculation. It's total sales or sales revenue, take away total costs, fixed costs plus variable costs. Do that calculation, you get the total profit or loss of a business. If costs are greater than sales, we make a loss. But of course, with profit, there are different levels. And we'll have a look at this when we see how we calculate the different profitability ratios. So why measure profit? Well, of course, it's important to measure it both in absolute terms, the complete or the total value of profits earned, perhaps in pound value or dollar value. So, for example, a business may make £50,000 profit or $50,000 in a, in a year or a period. But I guess more importantly, is also being able to measure profit in relative terms. What is the profit as a proportion of the revenues achieved or how much is invested in the business? That's also quite interesting, isn't it? And that's really what financial and profitability ratios are all about. And we normally get the information we need for profitability ratios from two parts of the financial statements. Uh, from the income statement, that's where we're going to get our profit figure. And also, if we're looking at return, the profit return on amount invested, we need to pick up some information from the balance sheet. So let's quickly go through the four key profitability ratios. What are they? How are they calculated? Gross profit margin is the first one, and it's a simple calculation. It's the gross profit, which is sales less cost of sales, divided by the total sales revenue of the business. Obviously, to get a percentage, we multiply that, uh, that division by 100. Moving down the income statement, we get to a line called operating profit, which is gross profit taking away the overheads of the business. So the operating profit margin is also a percentage and it's expressed as a percentage like gross profit of sales revenue. So we take the operating profit number from the income statement and divide it by the sales revenue number from the income statement. Multiply it by 100 to give us the operating profit margin. Moving a little bit further down the income statement towards the bottom, we come to what's known as the net profit or sometimes otherwise known as the profit for the year. So it's a similar calculation to the previous two. We take the net profit for the year, divide it by the sales revenue for the same period and multiply it by 100 to get our net profit margin. And the fourth profitability ratio is slightly different. Here we're not looking at sales revenue. We're trying to compare the profit earned compared with the amount that's invested in the business. So this is where we need to draw some information from the balance sheet or the statement of financial position. So we take the operating profit number and we divide it by what's known as capital employed, multiply it by 100, and that will give us our return on capital employed, or sometimes otherwise known as ROCE. Let's have a quick uh, look at an example of how these calculations are shown, just so you can see how the numbers are put together. So here on the left is a simple uh, summary of some information from the income statement and the balance sheet. We've got some sales revenue. If we take away cost of sales, that gets us to the gross profit, £300,000 or £300,000. Uh, take away the overheads, gets us to the operating profit of £125,000. And then it looks like there's another 25,000 of costs, possibly finance or interest costs, gives us a net profit of 100,000. And from the uh, statement of financial position or balance sheet, we've uh, identified that the business has 1 million invested in it, capital employed of 1 million.
So remembering our ratio uh, calculations and our formula, we always show our workings. Gross profit is therefore 300 divided by 500. We multiply that by 100 to get a percentage, which gives us 60%. The gross profit margin is 60%. Working down the income statement, we get to the operating profit, so we can use that to calculate operating profit margin. In this case, it's 125,000 divided by the sales revenue, 500,000. Again, multiply by 100 to give us our percentage, 25%. And you can see a similar calculation for net profit margin. Our net profit was 100,000. Our sales revenue 500,000, so we divide one by the other and multiply by 100 to get to a percentage of 20%. 20%. Finally, return on capital employed needs to use that capital employed number from the balance sheet, and we're going to pick out the operating profit number 125,000 divided by a million, multiplied by 100. Hopefully, your numbers agree with mine 12.5%. So that's been a brief introduction to the ways in which you calculate the four main profitability ratios.